so it is Thanksgiving week and I'm going to be vlogging this week it's Wednesday currently the day before Thanksgiving and I have a lot of things going on this week have my boyfriend's and oh my god I keep saying my boyfriend my fiance and birthday is tomorrow November 23rd and it so happens to fall on Thanksgiving this year so I do have a little surprise for him I'm taking him to a golf course that he's always wanted to go to in West Palm Beach and it's like such a vibe and I'm so super excited for that and have a couple little surprises for him obviously it's crazy that it's Thanksgiving this year on his birthday because I think that only happens like every six years so definitely a little sign to me that I'm super super thankful for him he's truly probably one of the best things that has ever happened to me I don't know honestly who I would be without him I think that he's helped me see the world in such a different way he's helped me see the world in like a brighter light like, you know he's a sad he's very optimistic he's very fun he's hilarious he's funny he makes me laugh every single day and that's kind of what I needed because I'm a very serious person I'm a little more reserved a little more to myself I'm liter quite literally probably the opposite of my fiance and we yeah we're polar opposites but we balance each other out i also i feel like i teach him how to be you know serious when moments need to be serious because i feel like as a side she just thinks everything is a joke and sometimes i'm like no like you need to take this seriously we like support each other to be the best versions of ourselves he always supports me to keep going to be the very best version of myself to be my fullest potential and i feel like i encourage him to do this he started a business a couple years ago that is not an easy task and i think that owning a business is one of the biggest risks you can take ever and especially in the way that he does it i just like admire him every single day for the amount of hard work and dedication he puts into his business i truly don't know a harder worker in honor of his birthday <laughs> I guess I'm giving that speech because it just so happens to fall on Thanksgiving and I just want to share it with you guys how thankful I am for him because he's a huge part of my life. I am really private and I feel like I don't go a lot of my life with him because I choose to be a little more private when it comes to our relationship. I've learned the hard way that it's best for people not to know everything about your business and especially about your relationship. They just don't need to know those kind of things. Also have something very exciting this week. We're finally doing our engagement party and it's this Friday. I'm so so excited. I finally have everything ordered. I got like a flower wall. I have like a super cute cake that i ordered i'm so excited to show you guys um so i'm gonna probably vlog like the setup and doing all that on friday but for that i do need to do a beauty reset because i need to look snatched for this engagement party we have like 50 people coming all our closest friends and family so you know we gotta look good um so i'm starting already it's wednesday so i'm gonna be getting a fresh blow okay coming to you with a fresh blowout um my hair is done for the week came out so so pretty Not over it i feel like a new person i mean whoa i feel like my hair even looks like it has like a different color to it by the way guys can we take a poll i'm missing my jet black hair if i'll be honest with you guys I'm missing it a little bit so i'm kind of like do i go jet black for the winter or do i leave it at this brown what do we think let me know in the comments but anyways hair is done I honestly pray that it like stays this nice until Friday because I have so much to do. Need it to look this fresh on Friday. Thumbnail. I am now going to go do some errands. I'm gonna grab my boyfriend a night owl cookie. My fiance a night owl cookie. Cause the surprise is that at midnight I can sing him happy birthday. Okay, bag secured. Oh, these look absolutely amazing. But Herman's gonna freak out because this is probably one of his favorite desserts, crumble cookies. Okay, so I'm going to be writing Herman, my fiance, his, his birthday card. And I found this card at Marshall's like super randomly and I was like, this is the perfect card. So it's funny. The f I still remember to this day, like the first post that he posted with me on Instagram, he captioned it. I don't want to talk about it, but talk about it was spelled like a taco. And it was our first like spontaneous trip together we went to mexico yeah so that's why the caption was about tacos so i found this card that said like something similar and it said let's 
taco about your birthday like in a taco um and i was like this is so cute and nostalgic because he's definitely gonna know like why i chose this card so yeah i'm just gonna write his birthday card right now and part three course in West Palm for his it's birthday. So Golf, it's the most beautiful day. We got so lucky. Got fire. You need a gap. I'm putting on my glove. All November 27th. Basically had my engagement party this past weekend and I think last time you guys saw me was I was getting my makeup done and then I ran out of storage and then the absolute craziness of an engagement party started with everybody calling me with the whole it was everything I pictured it to be and more. Everybody showed up. It was just so nice to be surrounded by all of your closest friends and family. I was just so happy obviously to be celebrating our love and our engagement, our next steps together. All right, let's get this day started. guys our house is full of flowers from just all the from people from the party sometimes people don't really think much when it comes to like giving a gift but we actually got a lot of like really thoughtful home goods picture frames just like things that we would actually use anywho i am going to make myself a coffee Dream creation. So I am going to be getting ready for the day and I need to do my skincare. I have been so obsessed with just Korean skincare and how they formulate their products. My skin has been honestly looking probably the best it's looked in a very, very long time. I just love how they use essences. They don't use like really harsh ingredients and they're not highly perfumed and all this kind of stuff. So today I'm actually going to be using a line called Mary and May. And I have the entire collection for dry skin, which is what my skin has been recently is dry and this routine just leaves my skin absolutely flawless just a quick quick background on mary and may they are a korean skincare line that is vegan and cruelty free they do not test on animals they even use recycled packaging all of their glass containers which is really cool are made from recycled glass as well and all their products are dermatology tested to start out with my dry skin routine i'm going to be using their low pH hyaluronic gel cleanser with 10 different types of hyaluronic acid also has grape extract which leaves your skin so so hydrated so this feels so gentle so hydrated I really love this off the bat I can already tell that this is super moisturizing because it's like very creamy 
Okay, next, one of my favorite things about Korean skincare is that they use an essence. And I find that the, this isn't as common in American skincare lines. So this is their vegan blackberry complex cream essence for youth and glow. This is an essence that restores your skin barrier and provides your skin with lots and lots of moisture so that the moisture like really sets into your skin and it's made with plantia blackberry carolia flower water and jojoba seed oil and i like to i like to just pop into my skin to give my skin that moisture non-sticky and it just reassures that your skin is going to be super super hydrated so the next thing i'm going to be using is their serum so this is their id benoin and blackberry complex i hope i'm saying that right this is also for youth and glow it has a blackberry complex of 20 percent so the id benoin is as a strong antioxidant it's a raw material developed as a treatment for alzheimer's it's one of the most powerful skin antioxidants announced by the north american dermatologist society its antioxidant effect is four times that of vitamin c really really fast absorbing and just gives my skin the illusion of gloss skin using the idebanone blackberry intense cream this has 500 bpm the idebanone and the blackberry complex this is a rich intense cream which is what i need for my dry skin oh my god that feels so amazing on the skin this feels absolutely stunning. So next, I'm going to be using the Trend Examic Acid and Glenoin Eye Cream. This is a brightening eye cream that provides intensive care for dark circles, dark spots, and blemishes. And oh my god, that feels so amazing. So soothing, so brightening. And then last but not least, I'm going to be using their sunscreen. This is a vegan peptide. Bakuchil SPF 50 sunscreen with 25 different types of peptides. Insane. Not only are you protecting your skin from the sun, but you're also getting peptides and active ingredients that are great for your skin. So I just kind of put it on like a stick. And I love this because you can bring this like in your purse and like casually just touch up. The sunscreen actually won an award by Allure of the best sunscreen of 2023. It's beyond just UV protection. It provides anti-aging. Also super fresh and that and there's like no stickiness whatsoever. I have my skin prepped now with Mary and May products. Absolutely obsessed with this entire collection. You guys can check out all of Mary and May's products in the link down below and if you have dry skin you could pick out these exact products but they also have products depending on your skin type. If you guys have been wanting to try Korean skincare and don't know where to start, Mary and May is a gorgeous collection. Make sure you guys check them out but anyways let's go do my makeup and get ready for the day. Get ready for the day. I like I said I have a lot of errands to do. Anyways I do want to talk about my engagement party just because I did plan it pretty much all by myself like my mom isn't really like a party planner and then my in-law Herman's mom she helped with like certain things but I'm also I don't know if you guys know this about me but I am such a control freak that I don't really like when people do things for me because I'm like, if someone else does it, it's not going to be as good as if I do it. And I've always been that way because I'm such a perfectionist with things. And I don't know if it's a toxic trait or if it's a good thing. It definitely does overwhelm me sometimes because I take on so much upon myself instead of letting people help me because my mom and my in-laws like they offered to help but I was like no like don't worry like I got this so I basically did like almost everything except for like food coordination and alcohol and all that kind of stuff I left that up to my fiance and his dad they kind of took care of all that thankfully but as far as decor and florals and all that jazz i pretty much did that all by myself i didn't hire a coordinator or anything starting from the invitations i did paperless posts very easy it's just an engagement party i don't see the point of having to of sending out physical invitations for an engagement party physical invitations are more for like save the day and for the wedding yeah, so invitations, paperless post. We invited about 60 people and 50 came, and the 10 that didn't come were also weren't that close to, so I wasn't it wasn't a big deal. Starting 
with decor. I found this uh, lady here. She's called Posh Rentals in Miami. If you guys are she was absolutely amazing. Her stuff is so, so beautiful. So if you guys saw all those like candle tapers, the gorgeous crystal glasses, like all those crystal items were all from her. She's, and the chairs. I changed out the chairs in the clubhouse to like those gorgeous wooden super aesthetic chairs and i also rented out some cocktail tables from her the gorgeous silverware like she just has the vibes like all her stuff is like very very aesthetic very very beautiful I ended up renting that from her and coordinating all that and then as far as the flowers go i found for the florals i found a wholesale floral place in hialeah and I got a really, really good price for the garden roses, the baby's breaths, and I think it was Star of Bethlehem flowers that I got. And I ordered like a lot. It was like 50 roses, 50 Star of Bethlehems, like 50 baby's breaths. And I got a really, really good price. So I went early Friday morning to pick up all those florals, start doing the arrangements. And I did the arrangements all by myself. I cut the roses. I, cause like the vases that we got were short and I wanted that like minimalistic small vase look where you have a lot of little tiny vases with like the florals and that was kind of like the vibe that i went for and it was absolutely beautiful i did take it upon myself though like i said to do that and the musician thankfully my in-laws took care of that and then oh yeah the flower wall i wanted a photo op moment for the engagement party because i think that's pretty important it's where everyone gets together takes photos um and it makes the party more memorable so I did get a flower, a floral wall company. So they did all of that. And the wall that I picked was like the garden roses with the baby's breaths because that was kind of like the theme of our engagement party. And the wall was absolutely stunning. It was like 3D. So you had like the roses popping out. It was such a gorgeous photo op moment. Else, I also had a content creator that I hired. And I feel like content creators for events is a new... It's a very new concept because, you know, now given that, you know, we all like to post our special moments on social media and especially me as someone that does social media, I do want to have like all those little moments documented so I can create a reel out of it. I can create a TikTok out of it. And I also want to be able to like enjoy myself without worrying about taking content um, because taking content is time consuming and if you're just on your phone the whole time taking pictures or you're asking other people to take pictures of you you're not really enjoying the moment as much as you could be so i wanted to make sure to be really present at the engagement party and make sure that i speak to everybody give equal attention to everybody so i hired a content creator and they took like all the bts all the little moments me saying hi to everybody the greetings taking gifts from people just like conversations with all those like little special moments they captured all that and they also took all my photos of me and my fiance and of me i didn't hire a professional photographer because professional photographers are very expensive and i didn't think that it's worth it just for an engagement party and i also had you know polaroid camera film camera out to capture all the little moments so everyone was taking you know polaroids and film photos the entire time so i have a ton of pictures from that which is great and a ton of photos from that i have like so many photos from the party i don't even know what to post i'm a little overwhelmed i have so much content that i love i did create like a little reel of just the event like summarized but there's definitely like there's so many videos that i have like so many ideas for what i can make out of those videos yeah there's just a lot right now and i'm like i don't even know what to post there's just so many there's so much content oh another thing i also worked with verstolo they're like a diamond rental company for bride and you can rent out like a tennis bracelet or like golden hoops i mean not golden diamond hoops which is what i had for whatever bridal event that you're gonna have so i also worked with them which was really great because i got to wear a little bit of diamonds on my well obviously besides my engagement ring but i wanted a little more pop so that my dress was from bronx and banco which i actually picked it out at a pre-sale event that i went to and when which that was so great because that dress was perfect and i got such a steal on it because i really i didn't want to spend too much money on a engagement party dress because 
all of these dresses like your bridal shower dress your engagement party dress your bachelorette dress you're gonna wear it once because you're gonna have a million photos in that outfit and you're probably not gonna wear it again you know because it's like a crazy out there white outfit and you're probably not gonna wear it again it's like i really don't want to spend like 500 dollars on a dress i'm gonna wear once so i got a really really good deal because i went to the pre-sale event for bronx and bach franco not expecting at all that i was gonna find like a bridal dress there but i did and that dress was absolutely perfect and it was the last one it was my size and i just think i got really really lucky with that dress a lot of people ask me about where my shoes are from they are where oh aqua Zura. i actually got them in new york city when, and i bought them because i was like they're the perfect bridal shoe for my bridal era so stunning they do make any outfit just pop maybe i, I can link them for you guys on my LTK. I decided to get my hair and makeup done because I was just so overwhelmed with planning the party and the day of there's just a million things coming at you like you know you have to set everything up and thankfully i did have help on setting things up very very over overwhelming to try to get everything set up on time because i didn't have the venue to myself the entire day so i had a couple of hours before the event to set up and if i didn't get my hair and makeup done i probably would not have had time to set things up because to do hair and makeup really well for an event like that it takes me at least two hours to get everything perfect it just helps so much getting your hair and makeup done. So I highly recommend, even if you think you can do makeup yourself, which I can, like I'm really good at that. And it's, it's kind of, it's a, what I do, but it's honestly nice for special occasions to get it done. And you also, you, it gives you that extra oomph that you usually wouldn't have. So I definitely recommend it because I don't know, I felt extra pretty and she really killed it. She did such a good job. My hair has still like stayed so pretty and curly. So I def recommend if you're doing an engagement party, bridal shop, whatever it is, to, to spend that extra money and get your hair and makeup done. Um, Cause you just feel, you feel like a little princess. And that's how I felt. I haven't been putting on like lip liner since I got lip tattoo this gloss is gorgeous though it's the shade rosy utopia i think i've talked about it before such a pretty gloss l'oreal so yeah that was pretty much it for my engagement party setting it up and things like that i did get a lot of things on amazon on at michael's like all the little extra decorations like table covers vases all that jazz i just ordered it on amazon i ordered it like a week before it really came out beautiful I'm super, super happy with everything. It's a lot of work. I'm feeling the exhaustion of the weekend on me already this week. I'm kind of trying to take it easy this week, but we have a million and a half errands to do. We need to get this day started. Yeah, guys, makeup is done. We're up for like a natural day look today. All right, let's go get some more. So sorry, you guys. I've been a little MIA today on this vlog. I've been just doing a bunch of returns. I was at the UPS store returning um, some things from Amazon and Verstolo. And then we picked up my niece and we grabbed lunch really fast. And I got a little carried away. And now we're going to Target. You always need something at Target, right? right. So I was at Target today, actually. We're going to Target. Fun. So slay. Slay. I am quickly going to my laundry. I just got back home. Had to run into Target, get some paper towels. I have a lot of laundry that I did over the weekend after the party, so I gotta start folding that. So let's do it before my fiance gets back from work. It's already dark out. Honestly, it's been so crazy. It gets dark. I'm like, oh my god, it already feels like 10 p.m. I'm like actually ready for bed, which is nuts. It's early and like before it was getting dark at like 8 p.m. So definitely a huge, huge difference, but it is what it is. Good morning guys. I am currently on my way to the Galia Lahav store. I am going to be trying on some wedding dresses just to kind of get a glimpse of what I like. I'm obviously not going to be showing you guys a dress if I end up choosing a dress, but I'm super super excited because Galia Lahav is probably one of the biggest designers here that's available in Miami and they have a gorgeous store in Design District. So I'm going to kind of just get a glimpse of what styles i like so i'm really really excited i'm like nervous because it's like it's such a beautiful moment to try on these wedding dresses it's like something i've dreamed of since i was a little girl always been a girly girl and i remember since i was little i've been drawing little princess dresses and like little princesses i was always obsessed with like being a princess 
I've always been like that was like my childhood was like Disney princesses um, and drawing like princess dresses so I've always loved that kind of thing like seeing that now I'm gonna have that kind of come to life it's just really really exciting and yeah let's go So, as you guys saw some BTS footage of me at the Galia Lahav store, I did try on some dresses. I didn't find the one that I was the most in love with and after doing something, I decided that I first want to book my venue then to go officially wedding dress shopping. And I kind of just like got an idea of what I like and I know what I don't like and I know what I do like so it's bringing me a little closer to, you know, making a decision but other than i just got back home my fiance is bringing me lunch so i need to eat and then i have a video i have to edit and there's a couple of tiktoks i want to post on the engagement party and all that jazz so just gotta finish that all up i don't know if i'm ending this vlog but if i am then i'll see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life i know that there wasn't a lot going on it's just that this week has been so so busy but you know i'm posting every week and stay tuned for my vlog next week but yeah i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys